Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to read a nonfiction story called A Caterpillar Grows Up. This is nonfiction because it is going to teach us about caterpillars. And remember, we have a clue that it's nonfiction because on the very cover of this book is a real photograph, a real picture. That's our first clue that it's going to teach us something and not just be a little story. So, A Caterpillar Grows Up by Melvin and Gilda Berger. <gasps> Look, a caterpillar. What will it be when it grows up? A butterfly. Did you know that butterflies are insects? The mother butterfly lays her eggs on a leaf. All these little yellow things right here. Let's see them. The eggs are tiny. It's a zoomed in picture so we can see it up close. It makes sense that they would be small because butterflies are pretty small. The eggs hatch. Out come tiny caterpillars. Did you know the new caterpillars are very hungry? Hmm, that reminds me of another story I know. Have you ever heard the story of the very hungry caterpillar? That's called making a connection when something in one book reminds us of another one. We're making a connection in our brain. We're thinking about something else we know. That's something readers do all the time. First, the new caterpillar eats its own eggshell. Then it starts to eat leaves. The caterpillar has a mouth, strong jaws, and six eyes on each side of its head. So it has six on one side and six on the other. How many does that give us? Twelve. It says, did you know caterpillars can only see leaves in the dark? They don't see clearly like we do. The caterpillars grows quickly. It wiggles out of its old skin four or five different times. It says, did you know the caterpillar skin does not grow bigger? In the old skin, you can see it's like a ball there. That's the old skin. One day, the caterpillar stops eating. It hangs from a branch. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of a letter, just a little backwards. That's like the letter J. It builds a shell around its body. The shell is called a chrysalis. The caterpillar is now a pupa. I wonder if you've ever seen a caterpillar do these things. The caterpillar slowly changes into a butterfly. The butterfly spreads its wings. Away it flies. Butterflies, if you look, you can see they have two wings on each side. One here and here, and then the same on the other side. That's called being symmetrical, by the way. When you're the same on both sides, butterflies are symmetrical. Each caterpillar grows into its own kind of butterfly. And this is a monarch caterpillar that grows into a monarch butterfly. 
And this is a painted lady caterpillar. And it turns into a painted lady butterfly. Hmm, they look a little different. You can hold them back so you can see the two. Similar colors in the butterflies. Their pattern is different. And the caterpillars look awfully different. Here's a red admiral caterpillar that turns into a red admiral butterfly. And this is a cabbage white caterpillar that grows into a cabbage white butterfly. We see monarch and painted lady butterflies a lot where we live. A butterfly flies from flower to flower. It sips nectar from the flowers. Nectar is a sweet liquid inside the flowers. Maybe you've seen butterflies or other insects sitting in the middle of flowers. That's what they're doing. They're taking a little drink. In winter, some butterflies fly to warm places. It says thousands of butterflies travel together. There's a fancy word for that. It's called migrate. Migrate means they go where it's warmer. They go down south. Where we live, it gets pretty cold and snowy in the winter. That's not a good climate for butterflies. But they come back in the spring. One day, you might see a caterpillar begin to change. Watch and see what happens. And that's the end.